them, but that's a no-go. So we'll just get Dell uh, to use uh, just some regular attacks here. It's going to be fine. Nice. No holding back. Reapply the Hex. I don't care what kind. It really should be strength in case we're going to be pushing, but we're not doing pushing, so it doesn't matter. All right. What I can do is I can drop concentration on the spike growth here, unless and pull the hyenas up into here. That would be, that would be tricky. I don't think that's in the cards. So I'm just gonna drop the concentration on spike growth. Ruger people. These boots have seen everything. That's Melter Red. Inheriting the worst quali qualities of its Omnian varietals, this blend is resoundingly hollow. Wow. Yeah, start collecting some hiney ears. I'm sure used for some sort of recipe. Oh, potions of speed. Oh, I do love potions of speed. That's really good. I might want to make sure to pre, uh, pre-craft them. I don't know why some of them don't become empty. Mangle Corpse, the letter. Written in a furious sloping hand is the letter to the editor of the Baldur's Bash, a tabloid notorious for its controversial articles. Dear editor, I find it despicable, nay, diabolical, that you would defend Baldur's Gate's ridiculous restrictions regarding animals in the city. No animal larger than a peacock may gain entry. How archaic! My darling Giselle is the most well-behaved bear you'll ever encounter, you'll ever meet. Throwing random words. And yet, to spend time with my child, I must visit my summer home in Cormier. I call upon the Parliament of Peers to resolve this issue immediately. The emotional and psychological well-being of the people of Baldur's Gate is at stake, and I shall take this to the highest authorities, should it not be dealt with accordingly. Right now, Giselle cries out for her father. This archaic policy has separated a child from their parent. I don't know how Grand Duke Older Ravengard lives with himself. Ravengard. Your faithfully, Mr. R. Pickens. Invalid target. I can't even speak with dead you. I can speak with dead you, but you're not going to have anything to say. Huh. Maybe he's too mangled. It could be. Wonder if the gods are watching me. And the other thing with the Starian, if we do spec him into Assassin, which is still what I'm thinking of doing. Um, oh, hang on. Ungroup. Is we get ourselves in a good place to... Um, uh, Does this count as adventuring? He's going to want to be a little further forward, but not get spotted right away. Watching and waiting. Um, where you do a sneak attack round, and then you still have your full actions and everything for the first actual round of combat. Taking my time in the shadows. So you were going to get a surprise attack regardless. So we can start the encounter with Dell. That's fine. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just walk forward, and the bear will, or Dell will just shape shift the bear. Creature's eyes roll back in its head, equal parts bliss and agony. You're right. We could leave them in group. Just go to torn breast mode. That's true. And yet, looking into her eyes, you can see it wasn't enough. She's still hungry. Occasion we uh, we do have uh, Gloomstalker. See, my flesh becomes That's literally what we did. Flesh. This person, this hyena is eating a lot of jam. Lots of jam. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. The hyena moans softly as its body Oh, Dread Amateur's a free attack. Still attack with his action. Oh. Oh, I failed something. Yeah, we're going to strike while the beast is vulnerable. You land a swift strike against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. Whatever horrific creature was growing inside the hyena oh, that's good. dies along with her. If we just started with a range attack, we would have fought a whole extra knoll here. Oh, there was a risk, I suppose, as this thing sent forward that it might have... Um spotted Asterion here, but new. No. Gonna be very explicit, make sure this works this way. Well, these are inv invalid targets, interesting. Well, 
we may as well prep the Hunter's Mark now. We didn't have it for the attack, because it would have broken their stealth, but there we go. Let's finish this. Although he didn't get the he didn't get his hunter's ability, or is it only once per short rest or something? As opposed to once per combat. We do flaming spear and stuff, but yeah, this is gonna be pretty basic, so I think we can just go ahead and keep doing cantrippy things. And fail. Battle favors the fearless. Yeah, and I should just be picking strength, but it's so annoying to like do that. Maybe there'll be a mod that makes it just default hex or something. We'll have to do some reapplying, but that's okay. May the gods take you first. Heading there. Actually, I should focus fire, but it doesn't matter because we can never land that ability. Excellent. I think we were going to make her actually into a... Maybe throw in some range on her. I don't know. We'll see. Let's try to get these kills before they spawn more stuff. By the way, they're going to pop into uh, Noel's. I don't know if that's how Noel's are normally born or anything in lore. The downside here is we're not getting the extra like bonus action things. Oh, I didn't do the mark. Uh, I've done bonus damage. Still wouldn't have been a kill with that roll, but still very disappointing. They it. Are they fully healed? Yeah, they are. They have more hit points. Come at me. So, okay, we're gonna we're gonna organize our things here because I actually don't know everything that Shadowheart has, and it's just because we need to reorganize. So we'll leave that there, but yeah, we're unlikely we'll keep Firebolt, because um I suppose if we do have full surprise and we get advantage, Firebolt might be better than Sacred Flame. Also, maybe we're trying to hit something that's flammable for whatever reason, so that's still gonna be kind of a viable option. Um Blade Ward's another sort of utility cantrip over here. I didn't mean to pull that off of her chart completely. And yeah, we gotta set some extra memorizations. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna redo her actual um, spell options. Okay, so Radiance of the Dawn is a channel divinity, which comes back in a short rest. Sun's divine power dispels any magical darkness. Targets. Okay, so this is just an AOE around her, which. Doesn't affect creatures of total cover from you. Does it affect friendlies? Starion wants to know. It's not putting a little symbol under their feet. Got to move. Where there we go. See here, it is putting a symbol underneath the Noel's feet. But not Dell. So I'm assuming this has friend and foe detection. Let's find out. It does indeed seem to be the case, which is wonderful. Okay. This is my time. Oh, for fuck's sake. Again. This user interface is so shit. Because you click on the reapply hex and you want to click on the thing you want to do. And what did we do? We just did a range attack. Instead of hexing. And instead of getting to use our Elders Blast. Terrible UI for the hexing. Go for the throne. Absolutely. Clearly, the uh, game developers didn't spend enough time actually playing their game as a warlock. Because someone would have been like, you know what? This is garbage and we hate it. Not really range limits. Oh, I'll probably still have high ground over here. Oh, yeah, I don't have a bonus action. Um, I won't be able to. All right, you know what? It's fine. 90% chance, even with disadvantage. That's going to be fine. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Life comes easy these days. Use your lithid potential. Like, I'm sorry, what? Use your lithid potential? Oh, probably on uh, the body here afterwards. Nice. A 
I, do, I wonder if I want to change that to not ask. I think I will. Because I don't think, uh, right now, a Shadow Heart's reaction of opportunity attack, not going to be something that relevant. Whereas the Warding Flare probably is going to be quite handy, and I think we'll want to use it every time. So I can just remove the ask from that, and that's going to be all right. Why don't you go ahead and just, like, melee this thing? <laughs> oh, yeah, your weapon does fairy fire on a miss, which is quite cool. So now whoever goes next is going to have to advantage that. So again, reapply Hex. I don't care what the attribute is. Although I'd prefer strength, and if I could just set it as default, that'd be fine. But at this point, I'm going to stop looking. There we go. Uh, combat over? No. Oh, you're still alive. There's blood in the air. Huh. This way. everywhere. I might have to switch out of animal form. Well, I suppose everyone's got an illithid power. Let's get on with it. Oh, right over there. Dead caravan agent. Okay. Curiosity. Also, oh, is it just going for um speak with it might be just to speak with dead glowing. Uh, let's see here. What's this note? Deliver the chest to me unopened. Read the first sentence again. Open it and I will know because you will be dead. This is not a threat. That is what will happen if you open the chest. NF. Find the missing shipment. regards you lifelessly who is nf boss boulder's gate the guild I mean, that's not the name but okay we're carrying the wagons i suspect he doesn't know where we're heading is probably boulder's gate what happened to you no uh-huh it's pretty obvious I only have five questions. Um, did anyone survive the attack? Might be relevant. Rugen. Rugen. Fled north. Okay. Who is Rugen? You know what? Sure. Lucky <laughs> son of a... And where were you heading? Just in case it's not Baldur's Gate. Tavern. Oh. Uh huh. See. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. As per my last letter. Sounds like emails I write when I'm being snooty. Though the name of the recipient is obscure, the letter appears to continue a debate of some heat. Your analysis is flawed. The Hells are not so simple to understand. Boiling down nine cosmological layers into evil with a few more rules does generations of scholars discredit. Each layer is its own unique moral and magical ecosystem. What Zariel permits in Avernus may be blasphemy to Mammon in the chain cities of Minaris. The Hells bend not only to their whim and will, but to their mere presence. The more souls they acquire, the more that combined influence spreads. Avernus itself is glorious for study. Watch a Yugoloth mercenary debate mid-battle with the Rakshasha and tell me I'm wrong. From its star, red starless sky to every bloody tributary leading to the sticks, there is something to explore. Of course, getting down there in the middle of the Blood War is a bit stressful, but you can't judge what you don't know. I've gotten off topic. The point is, you're wrong. Look forward to your reply. Best, Silvara Savikas, Sage of Candlekeep. The Good Folk of Faerun. I don't know why I can't get a, a hover for a read. I'll have to loot it and then read it in my inventory. Or the, go the godly folk. A circular from the Church of Ogma, Lord of all knowledge. It is stamped with the seal of Brevek Thanor, most high lore master of the unrolling scroll temple in Baldur's Gate. To the good godly folk of Faerun, in the first instance, in the first instance, in the name of the Lord Binder himself, let me bid you thanks. 
The realm's shaking events that have since become known as the Second Sun Ring marked a time of great confusion and upheaval. Gods fell and rose again, lost continents reappeared, and the very weave shook as the planes birthed a new and yet mysterious order. Such chaos is often anathema to Ogma's sacred pursuit of truth and knowledge. However, with the help of innumerable first-hand accounts submitted to our agents by good folk all across the continent, the church is satisfied that an image of the strange years has become to coalesce. As such, we would kindly ask that no further unsolicited material on this matter be sent to our temples. With all knowledge, while all knowledge is of important to the Lord Binder, we are confident that any future plane shaping events will not be presaged in the shape of tobacco smoke or redna droppings of the village herd. A new and strange age is upon us. For divine guidance, we humbly bid you look to your local temple leaders and to forward such relevant materials to them. Yours, ever seeking, Renek Favor, Servant of Ogma. The gate is closed. Baldur's Gate, a bastion of commerce and culture, rewarded only with corruption and catastrophe. Crime, poverty, taxation, burdens unfairly heaped upon the shoulders of the common citizenry. Thieves and outsiders grow fat on the teat while native Baldurians starve in the street. For too long, the Grand Duke and his parliament of peers have left our gate unguarded. If you, like us, stand ready to defend it, then join like-minded individuals for a frank exchange of ideas. Join the keepers of the gate. I think we've read this somewhere. Enough is enough. The gate is closed. I wonder if the gods are watching me. You know what, maybe I should uh, pick up this as per my last letter. I don't think it matters. What's in here? Okay. Let's uh, process some of these ingredients. Potion of speed. Yeah, let's go ahead and make a bunch of potions of speed. Really good. I mean, it does have a downside. You're only sped for like a couple of rounds, then you're like exhausted for a round, but it does really increase your burst speed potential. No green glow on you. Interesting. All right. Let's, um, let's get ourselves sorted out here. First of all, any food we got in here, some of which can be quite heavy, we'll send to the camp. That's going to be fine. Um... Let me two rows of this. Make sure, first of all, they're all added to wares. And then we're going to send a bunch of this to, uh, I don't know, Shadow Heart. Assuming she doesn't get overweighted. Nope, she's fine. Oops. Need something? Okay. So, we're definitely heading towards the area where Karlak, is that her name, is supposed to be? Oh, speaking of caravan supplies. Gotta loot it all. In AoE loot option. I mean, it's not very often this kind of thing comes up. It's not like we're playing Path of Exile. We get loot explosions all the time. Uh, this is a blind playthrough, yeah. Uh, very little that is left to do in this particular run is something I've seen before. What hmm? What hmm? Oh, it's toppled over. Okay, I didn't realize it was, uh, it was empty. Looks empty. Apples. Quest marker right over here. Blades Frontier. I mean, we're bringing Will for this, certainly. And yeah, I have not seen this at all. So we got a high road and a low road. Whatever, let's just cross the bridge. Oh no, hold on. Have I seen this particular spot? I guess I've seen this. But weirdly, I've never met Karlak. We ran through this in our multiplayer game, but didn't actually do a full exploration. Right, My Shadow Heart. Will guide me. You're considering, um, for a range thing. Apparently the crossbows would do more damage currently. Let me just throw that in. So you have a ranged shot, which might be better until our cantrips get upgraded, which is going to happen next level. This actually might do better, but next level, all of our cantrips are going to get a second um, damage right. die. What now? So I think it's going to go back to the winning ways. Um, why are you so hard to leave? Jeez. Okay. On my way. 
Oh, there's like a side. Oh, there's a person over here. A trader. Oh, we have so much loot to sell you. Oh, game's auto saving. That's always a sign that fun's coming up. Oh, hand crossbow's gonna be dual wielding. Need any supplies? Wow, you are We've dirty. Few a mouse to feed hurt. now. Like, what happened to you? The Lord of Justice sent us after a devil haunting this area. Here? He why are? Squared off against her. We lost. Talk to Anders if you want the details. I don't have it in me to recount the horror. I think if you start with a drow character, you start with a hand crossbow. Uh, so talk to Anders. Okay. How many did you lose? Two. Both stalwarts of Tear, sworn to uphold justice. We got an ad break coming up in a second. Perfect time for us to trade. I'll take those supplies now and everything else you own. Don don don. No. There's a new subscriber. I'm gonna flip over here. I'm gonna hit sell wares. She, oh, does have enough money to accept all the wares I've got, but there's there's even more we're gonna be selling in a sec. But if anyone else has got some wares on them, yeah, there we go, insufficient gold. Okay, what do you actually got to sell? We just subbed. Smoochings! Hey, thanks for the sub. Uh, animal friendship, no, faith. I think we just sold these. Scroll, scrolls, arrow, elixir of heroism. So no magic shit, huh? You do some health potions. Although I think I'm pretty good on these health pots right now. But they get, they're fairly cheap. A hundred bucks. I don't know. Maybe I won't worry about it right now. There you go. You have exactly zero dollars left. We still have some garbage to sell, but I guess that's going to have to be it. Too bad she doesn't have anything that's interesting to buy. Maybe I will go ahead and get these healing pots. Because then I can just turn around and just sell more stuff. There you go. Done. You want to swap carrots to the character with the highest charisma for every price yeah i don't know and i mean dell has pretty good charisma and theoretically he's talking i don't know if it matters like what face is going on yeah i don't know how much of an impact that has in tia's name there's only so much i'm willing to micromanagement when it comes to selling stuff okay, she's going inside let's check these trunks over here there's an upper area there's a side door but i'm gonna come around and swing through the front and see what the deal is when Gale demands magic item to be consumed, there should be an option off from regular food. If you're gonna piss him off, but come on. <laughs> yeah, this is awful bloody in here. You know what? Let's go and loot. Wow, severed leg. Hello, bones. Nothing Just we need go to worry loot about. Loot these first. In case one of them has a story item, he's gonna be rolling when we go inside. Sure. They're in. Gas. What's inside? Potato! Yeah, side door over there, too. We'll have to make our rounds around the back in a second. Well, this might just be the barn. Oh, it's barricaded. Oh, nice place you've got here. No one dropped this on my head. That would be very rude. Hello, Anders. Who's there? Please, keep your distance. You're welcome to shelter here, but we've it works grave like. injuries to tend to. Who or what attacked you? Actually, hold on. What is this place? A toll house, once upon a time. Now a house of respite for those of us burned by a devil. We are paladins of Tyr. Lord devil, of you say? He sent us after an infernal being straight out he of looks the like someone else, hiding in the form of a one-horned tiefling. One horn, tiefling. one horn. Then you mean Karlak. Oh, I never talked to Will Our since the eye thing. Bootlicker. You know her, which means you know what the fiend is capable of. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. 
we will she's fleeing absolute. Our encounter with her. She doesn't like the absolute. I mean, team no absolute. Oh, we failed the religion check. What happened? Hey, before I go any further, out of curiosity. No. Okay. Um. Where is this devil? She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded, not dead. Down the hill from here. She must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served Tyr where we could not. This is the sword of justice. Uh huh. By Tyr. Uh huh. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. Uh huh. Very shiny. That's all I have. But it's yours if you stop her. Bring me her head. Like the Tyr gift. Will consider her crimes repaid. His weapon was just a regular longsword, which is not what he's wielding here. Um. Only head that will roll is yours. I mean, here's the thing. As a player me 